Hello, welcome to this episode of Talking About Rock. I'm Rob Edwards. Let's catch up with Jerry Schmidt, our host in Nashville. See what's happening there. Hi, Rob. How you doing? Good. Hey, I saw a wonderful Black Sabbath tribute band out of Cincinnati, Ohio on Friday night, just called Sabbath. And uh, they did a nice long set of Ozzy Sabbath material and closed the show with a couple of Dio classics. And then Saturday night, I saw the wonderful Music City Stones once again, and they brought the horn section along with them this time. Sometimes they don't play with the horns. And they did a, a nice 50-year uh, anniversary tribute to Exile on Main Street, the great classic 1972 double album. And then Sunday, I went to go see a Queen band out of Southern California do a brunch over at the city winery here in Nashville. And um, the guy um, that played Freddie Mercury actually performed on a broken leg. So um, he just kind of stood there in the middle of the stage, but uh, he had quite a voice and um, did Freddie Mercury justice. And I'd like to do a shout out to our friends from Lydia's Castle who are releasing their EP this Saturday, May 7th. They're uh, putting on a show at the end with True Villains and Voltage Hawk. And sadly, I'll be out of town in Phoenix, Arizona this weekend. But I would love to see all the rock fans here in Nashville go out and support our friends from Lydia's Castle this weekend uh, for their EP release party. Definitely. Yeah, that definitely sounds great. Looks like you had a busy weekend out there. And our next guest has also been pretty busy as well. He's been touring the U.S., Europe, Sweden, Brazil, and bringing their passion for music and exciting high shows to their fans worldwide. Dubbed by the LA Times as the kings of New York City rock and roll, please welcome to the show, the voice of Wild Street, Eric Jake. Eric, how are you? I'm chilling, man. How, how are you guys? We're doing, we're doing excellent, excellent. Looks like you've been keeping super busy, man. You guys are always touring. I was going through your, your list of tour dates that you previously had. Different tours for opening for Black Veil Brides, Twisted Sister, Michael Monroe. It's 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 been nonstop for you guys since you started things, hasn't it? Well, not really. We uh we took a break for two years or three years from 2013 to 2016. Uh, but however, um, last year we did play over a hundred shows in the USA and Europe. This year we're going to outdo that and we're going to play um, over a hundred shows in the USA and Mexico. And hopefully we're going to um, get to South America, which is the goal. That sounds excellent. Yeah, lots of those countries are opening up all over the place. And we see dates from folks in uh, Brazil, yeah, South America, Australia. That's amazing. That's that sounds like that sounds so great. You, you've had such a such a great time of things too. Uh, opening yeah, for so many folks so. reality from everybody else in the entire world so um let's just i'm just saying that you know so um we played 100 shows last year you know? wow so it's a lot but check it out we have a great new single that's killer it's called won't be apart and um, I, I wrote it with my friend Todd Long, uh, um, who's in this band, Ghost of Sunset, who's also on Golden Robot Records. Um, um, and um, they're a great band. You guys got to check them out. You know what I mean? Like, um, so um, if you haven't already done so, please go support my friends. Um, but, um, uh, regardless, um, Won't Be Apart is our new single. I think it's the most um, um, honest thing I've sung and um, the, honest, the most honest thing that Wild Street has ever done. Um, the next song that's coming out is June 14th on um, Golden Robot Records. And that song is also quite honest. It's also a ballad, which is really weird. But um, right, that's a, a little bit of a departure from some of your stuff, Rick. When I was listening to some of your earlier stuff, stuff like uh, Tennessee Cocaine and things like that, this just is a little bit, a little bit more mellow. Yeah. Um, why? Because I was bored. I get bored. 
like uh, that's why we released um one tattoo and born to be are okay because um i got bored let's let's face it like um in 2013 2014 i was burnt out on rock music okay uh wild street had toured a lot and we had played rocklahoma five times and so um and we had toured texas we had toured um, 10 and a half weeks or nine and a half weeks or whatever it was in the U.S. in 2009. And we played with all, all the bands that, that, um, that were going, um, that were doing rock and roll at the time. And are you guys, now you guys writing as you're touring or are you usually, usually wait till the touring is over with and then come back and do some writing? I write every day. Write every day. I have a studio in Brooklyn and um, like um, today, for example, um, I didn't get much done because I was nervous because we ha I had um, the interview at six and then the interview at eight and I had a lesson in between, right? Yeah, they had you pretty booked today, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, but, um, but um, 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 yeah, so like, what um, my buddy uh, Todd um, sent me, um, like uh, just like a, a, a test of what he would do on bass and drums on. Right, just on, some tracks and stuff to kind of get a feel, right? Yeah, on this uh, idea that we've been working on for a little while, you know what I mean? And so, um, but it like stretches my, um, my understanding and my, when, and what it means to be Wild Street and what it means to be Eric Jake and what it means to be anything. You know what I mean? Music is my life. You know, I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is I check on my music, whether it be um, um, having to make sure that I post or um, going on Instagram and resharing my friends' bands who are awesome, you know? like. Right. Everything in my life is about music. Um, yeah, you're you're a busy guy. You're not only a songwriter, I was reading. You're also a vocal coach, vocal producer, and a, a session guitarist producer. You're you're doing the whole bag there. So, yeah, you know, like I do a lot of things. I do I do guitar. I do um, keyboard. I do singing, of course, and um, and you know, I, I I love music. You know, music is my life. And all I all I want to do is write great songs every day. If I, um, in an ideal world, all I would do is write songs all day, every day, and produce songs. But uh, you know, it's like um, I I also love performing, and I think I'm um, not just me, but my band is fucking awesome. My band is awesome. Like, yeah, you guys are definitely hot. I missed you, unfortunately. You played kind of close by me last week. You played in, at Stamps in Tonawanda, New York. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch that show. But I, I but I lost, but because we killed it at Stamps. You can ask um, all the all the folks who were there because um, like, uh, what's his name? Aiden and uh, and uh, and others. Um, uh, they um, <clears throat> Um, my bandmates Crispy and Don are so good. It's like, mm. yeah, they said it was a great show. I want to take a quick pause here, and we actually want to play a video for one of the tunes I really like guy, by you guys. A little earlier song, like I was talking about. I want to pop in the video for Tennessee Cocaine here, and we'll check that out real quick here from Wild Street on Talking About Rock.
Okay, we're back here on Talking About Rock with Eric Jake from Wild Street. So we just watched the video for Tennessee Cocaine. I, I just love that song, man. You guys were you guys were crushing it. Uh, in 2021, you released Wild Street 3, and you had about 1.8 million streams on Spotify. Very, very impressive. You had to be so happy with that. It's okay. It's not good enough. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, um, uh, I, uh, um, last two, three is awesome. The artwork, the, the music, uh, everything about it, the complete package is awesome. I believe in it uh, or else, you know what? My life will be different right now. Right. Yeah. Well, like you said, you like to be true to all that music and all that stuff you're writing. So that's, so you take some of that from like your life experiences or or influences what what would you say kind of brings that all together maybe a little of everything um yeah a little bit of everything i guess um i'm a musician like right i i'm i'm a musician so um i just want to play music you know i think i think if you make great music people understand and they understand no matter how different you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what you do for your job, right. what, how much money you got, how how you talk or how you how you act um, or how crazy you are, or how not crazy you are. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like, the, like a universal language. Exactly, exactly right. Last Street is was uh, the the initial idea was to be um, universal, right? to be the band that, that crosses every genre. And, and, um, and you know what, I, I, um, I think for the most part we do. There are some songs that are more geared towards certain types of audiences. Well, because that's fun, you know what I mean? Like it's fun to play more heavy songs sometimes. And it's fun to be darker sometimes. And it's fun to be more party rock sometimes. You know, it's like um, you don't get to make a decision on on the way um, on the genre classification of your band. Like your band doesn't got to be sleaze rock just because you sing a song called Tennessee Cocaine when you sing another song that's called Still Love You or another song called Mother. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You guys are definitely changing it up. Different kinds of styles, different types of things. And, and your audiences, obviously seem to love it you guys have been touring like crazy and i really like we were talking about earlier i like the new uh the new track uh won't be apart with todd lang on there that's that todd, was, long. todd long todd i'm long. sorry yes um yeah, that, okay no problem you guys rock um talking about rock <laughs> <laughs> um um uh where are you where are you guys from so i'm located in buffalo new york mm-hmm Nashville, and, Tennessee. And Jerry's and, located in Nashville. Actually, we were uh, lifelong friends. We grew up together as teenagers. He moved out to Nashville. You know, we always were really into music, talking about, you know, all the 70s and 80s bands back when we were growing up, you know, and we reconnected last year uh, and decided, you know, why, why don't we start up a show here, talking to the different bands uh, that are that are coming back out, especially with the, the pandemic thing that came about, right? All these okay. people need to know that these there's a lot of cool bands still around to check out. There's a lot of different venues that you can go see. And, and if you like live music and you and you and you want to go out and support these guys, you know, support these bands and and go to these different venues and check it out. So that's kind of our mantra here, keeping the torch alive. We want to people to realize, you know, there's still a lot of great music and there's newer stuff coming out there's all the time. Music all the time. Like um for example, um, our record label, Golden Robot, there's, um, there's a lot of bands that are really good that perhaps you haven't checked out. Like, like maybe check out Vessel, you know what I mean? It's like, I know everybody knows that Wild Street and Hardcore Superstar and Crash Diet are on Golden Robot Records, right? And Stephen Piercy, you know? But nobody, uh, I want my fans to check out other bands oh definitely yeah it's 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 kind of hard to spread the word it's not uh, like it used to be where all the record companies would do a lot of pr for you and get a lot of press like through 
TV and, and magazines and stuff. It's, it's, it's not like that anymore. So that was another reason we decided to do this. You know, we want to show, you know, some of the, some of the older acts that are still around and still rocking, but, but it's a lot of the, some of the newer stuff that's coming out and what, what kind of stuff is, is available to check out, you know? So that's, well, you know, definitely check out Ghost of Sunset's new album, you know, Saints in the City, you know what I mean? It's, it's killing, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I'm, and uh, uh, P.S. Happy birthday, Mick Mars. You know what I mean? Like, oh, definitely. He was 71 years old today, right? I was oh, looking wow. at that. He's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we're, we're really pumped to see him on the on the stadium tour and see what that's going to be like. So that's. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I can't I can't wait. I, I hope I get a chance to see it. But we're really busy this year. Like um, we have. Um, we have. um a tour starting on um, May 12th in Providence, Rhode Island at Feet Music Hall. And then we play Boston the next night and play New Hampshire. This is really huge for Wild Street. Why? Because um, it's um, Northeast expansion. We have never played in this, in this area. So um, it's really cool that um, the, the, this band, um, I'm friends with Mammothor and um, Talamon, um, who used to watch, you know, it was this little kid who used to watch us at Rocklahoma, and now he has a, ki a killer band and he shreds on guitar, you know what I mean? Um, and it's really cool to get to play with him and, and with my friend Travis. And um, uh, so then we, uh, after that, we go to Berlin, um, Maryland um, at the gas gastro something theater Ga globe gastro theater i can't i, I can't <laughs> yeah, you guys got yeah, so I'm many gonna... dates going on I, I i know it's it's tough to keep it straight definitely i totally understand and i, I just um, wanted to give give our fans one one other quick uh peek at some of your music we're going to pop in the video for won't be a part uh, can you can you tell us a little bit more more about that how they how they came about um, basically, there was a Facebook uh, conversation um, um, that I started, of course, right? And um, me and my girlfriend, um, my girlfriend, Jen, she is from France, right? And we had to, because of um, international um, immigration or international law, she had, you know, we, and we had to be apart for a little while, right? Right. And so my friend Doug, who is actually the um, the president of RFL Records, um, responded and he said, ah, "I don't think you, you won't be apart for too long." <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, you know, like literally. And Todd, um, my, my buddy um, in Ghost of Sunset, was like, "Man, that's a great song title." And I was like, I responded to Todd, and I was like. Dude, let's write it. And so we wrote. It. He sent me a voice, voice memo, like a voice memo, right? With um, <clears throat> we won't be apart, like that part. Right. Um, and um, you know, for too long. And and so then um then he sent me an instrumental with the with the key and the changes and et cetera, et cetera. And um, and I wrote the vocal over it because um, I do that real quick because. Um, very cool, very cool. Yeah, that's that's and, awesome. Yeah. But Todd, it, um, <clears throat> Todd had the the main melody and and he wrote the the, the structure and then we, we figured it out. You know what I mean? Like it was it was a little too light at first, and so I I had some heavy guitars and and I got this this dude named John Wyman in um maine i believe in portland maine who um who killed it on the mix and of course like um howie howie weinberg um my friend howie weinberg has mixed it, or mastered everything for wild street for years he killed it yeah it's okay. definitely a very unique sound so we want to take a quick pause here we're going to play you the video for won't be a part from wild street on talking by rock <laughs>
All right, we're back here on Talking About Rock. Just watch the video for Won't Be Apart from Wild Street. So kind of a, a departure from what you guys uh, had done previously, but but really unique and, and really, uh, really cool song. I think it's great. Um, yeah, you get, you're getting a lot of a lot of feedback on it, a lot of positive feedback for sure, right? Amazing, amazing. The response has been absolutely amazing, especially like, um, <clears throat> Um, especially recently. Um, so, um, yeah, like uh, go and check out our Spotify, go and follow us on YouTube. You know, Wild Street is everywhere. We're going to be playing everywhere in 2022, 2023. We are not, um, you're not going to forget us. Come and see us. You're gonna have fun, and right. um, so where um, where do you got all your dates? Are probably on your website if folks want to check out your the dates for your shows. Yeah, um, you can like uh, go check out wildstreetmusic.com, or you can check out our uh, Facebook page or our link tree. Um, usually, um, as soon as a um, uh, a venue posts the ticket links, your um, it goes on our link tree. So on our Instagram on our twitter like you can just click on the the link on the one link that you got and you get you get everywhere you know excellent I mean? excellent yeah um, so folks go definitely go check out those dates for those guys because these guys are busy so if you you miss them i might not be able to catch them for a while again in, in my neck of the woods i don't know if you're going to be out anywhere in jerry's neck of the woods in nashville but yes we yeah will. we'd love to see Actually, you in, in august in yes. august okay august. Well, that'll be great. Um, thank you to uh, Drift and Dive Press. Thank you. Um, I mean, it's a shadow. You know what I mean? Shadow. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> well, we appreciate you so much uh, taking the time to be here. You know, it's been, a, it's, it's been a great chatting with you. We really appreciate it. Um, so if you want to come back and chat again, let us know what's happening with Wild Street. We would really appreciate it. You guys rock. It's not just talking about rock. You guys rock. <laughs> <laughs> excellent excellent and if you folks out there want to know more about us or you have comments or questions please feel free to email us at talkingaboutrock at gmail.com please like us and follow us on facebook instagram and twitter and as always subscribe to our youtube channel for this interview and all upcoming interviews eric thank you again so much man here's yeah, thank you eric thank you so much thank you have a great night man have you. you too you too guys